You're in, you're part of the familia. All right. This is a gator. All right. Now, gator here is wrapped to rod. It's tournament grade rod. It's HDX. And what he's done is he's put eyes on. Tell me how you put the eyes on because I know how you've done this, so you can take them off easy. Yeah. Tell them what you've done. Purpose of that is went to this long distance casting, and if it snaps or breaks, you can just peel it off, put another guide, and you're ready to go. Have you nail varnish on there, is it, or what? What uh, have you? Just cut a preservator. Just, so you just straight yeah. cut a preservator. Yeah, just straight so cut a preservator. So put no top coat on. He could literally fish this, and there'd be no problem. All right. <laughs> Here's where we get into the enigma of rod wrapping. That, what he's got there, is perfectly adequate to fish with, tournament cast with, or whatever. And as you go through this game, you will see the more advanced the company becomes, <laughs> the less you see wrapped on it. For example, the really top fly rods have very, very little. You never see a top fly rod covered in crisscrosses, and all this stuff. No, because it takes away from the beauty of the blank. All right. So what he's done there is minimal. As in the Chinese theory, less is more. The less you can put on the blank, the more you're going to get out of it. The lighter it is, and it, what I call, it allows the blank to breathe. Hmm. All right. All this wrap that you see covering rods often restricts the movement of the blank. Wherever you put one of them, really, you're restricting the movement of the blank in that point. So the more wrap you do, the restrictions there. Now, on this particular rod, he's wrapped to the ferrule, which reinforces here. That's a good thing. There's nothing wrong with that. All right? But, and he's done it here. But on the HDX, we have already in place a high modulus graphite reinforcing at that point and this point, but it's not going to hurt any. It's increased the weight, but if you look at the HDX, it's actually got it in there. All right? Tell them what you've done on your wheel seat, because I thought that was pretty unique. Do you want a wheel seat? No, the other. Huh? So that's a standard reel seat when you get it. Oops, sorry. Did you, you've come up with this yourself? Yeah. You? Okay, why did you do that? Because I didn't like these. Okay, that's fine. What is it? That's, what is this called, Nick? I'm not telling you, you don't like it. Coaster. Okay. Yeah, why would I coaster. give you my name if I don't? <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, it's just easier for me to, when I'm going to go cast, I just put my reel, it's already lined up, ready to go. Okay. But these, I know I need to get used to these, and I know I need to get me a set. Put your reel, you put this on, you gotta line it up. You see? But how do you move your reel seat if you want to change it for back then? I don't move this one. Well, this that's one. the reason for the others. So yes, sir. Have, so you move it. Yes, sir, I agree. But this one's, this one's, right here. My other rod that I'm going to build, I have to learn how to do the, this other cast. I'm still trying to figure out the pendulum, the pendulum cast right here. So right now I'm focused on this. Once I figure this out, then I'm going to come down here. What I liked about your real seat is you've taken the internals away. Let's wait. Right, so he's reduced the weight and it's made a very practical fitting. He knows exactly where he likes it, so that's where he's put it. He removed the center of the reel seat. So his is just like a fish, a fishing rod. Permanently fixed reel seat. Now here's a fishing rod. Right, this is an HDX, right, tournament butt. But what I, I've done is I cut a slot in the reel seat so I can put move my reel seat up and down. Okay. Right, then I lock it there. That's the coaster. That's what a coaster does. 
I cut into the reel so I'll show you that in a second. Okay. That allows me to fish back cast it with heavy weight, undo it, right, slide it up for an upcast. Right, so now I can upcast it on smaller weights. Got it? After you have it down here and you cast, do you put it up there to catch no. the fish? No. Yeah. No. No, I usually normal fighting belt. Okay. And I'll I'll work it from down oh, okay. here. Alright, so so mine's an adjustable reel seat and that's using that coaster. Alright. My rods are famous for looking like shit, but they catch fish. <laughs> they catch fish and I work them to death and I do very little maintenance. That's why I use low maintenance reels. I mean look at them. Dear Dar were very kind enough to sponsor me, but whenever I do a seminar and I turn up and one of their reps sees my stuff. He's always embarrassed, but I tell him that's what a fisherman's stuff looks like. That's used every weekend. I run hundreds of miles up and down beaches. What, what reel is that? That's the Dyer SHA 20, and I will put any six foot fish on the beach with that. No mm. problem. Okay. Yep. All right. So, um, reel placement, again, determines on what you're trying to do with the rod. On a full, full, like he just laid his rod out nicely. Show us where you got your wheel seat. Okay, he likes his from under his armpit to where his thumb lays. I'm gonna guess 28, 29 inches. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I like mine a little bit longer on a full length, but I like to be able to grab the rod here over my breast. All right. The point is, and a lot of people phone me about this, they say my rod handles are too long. Right? The mm. minute they do that, I know they're casting wrong. What they're doing is this. Yeah. They're trying to do that. Right? But a real cast, doesn't matter how much is sticking out of the butt, should come to there. Right? So it's not there, it's there. All right. When they're winding in, not here. Put it between your legs. All right. Mm -hmm. All good casters have. Right. And uh, he Gator, you're uh, you can make rods too, right? Yeah. For yeah. people, you, if you somebody. You've got a rod built place in Alice, yeah. isn't it? In Alice. How do they get you? Facebook? Uh, internet, Facebook. Uh, uh, Re Renee, what? Uh, on, on Breakaway, I'm, I'm, I'm known as Gator. Okay, what about all the websites, Facebook? Corpus Fishing, the other ones, known as Gator. You know, I just recently got on Facebook that I'm trying to figure out how to use it. That's You'll good, figure it out. Yeah, like. Everyone's on it, mate. What? That is. In Facebook, I sold five rods in Australia last week. All right. Through